Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar on Kickstart Your Cloud Security Journey, an expert guide by CWL. I am Nandini Bharadwaj, the Operating Officer at CWL and I welcome you all to our webinar. So let's get started. So before we start, let me tell you a bit about us. We are Cyber Warfare Labs, a UK based company focused on cyber security education. Our goal is to help people tackle cybersecurity challenges with practical solution. We have got two main divisions to our company. The first one is Cyber Range Labs. This is where you get hands-on experience with cybersecurity. We have built a virtual platform where you can try out real-life scenarios and sharpen your skills with practical exercise. And the second one is Upscaling Platform. Here we offer a bunch of courses for people at all skills level, whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, we have got something for you. Our courses cover domains like ethical hacking, red teaming, blue teaming, purple teaming, and cloud security. Our training services are available to educational institute, government agencies, and corporate organization. Both online and offline training options are available. If you want to know more, drop us a mail at support at the rate cyberwarfare.life. Let's move on to next slide. Okay. So uh, let me introduce to our speaker of today's webinar. That is Manish Gupta. Manish Gupta is a CEO of Cyber Warfare Labs with over 7.5 years of experience in offensive information security. Specializing in red teaming activities and renowned for his research in real world cyber attack simulation and advanced persistent threat. Uh, Manish has presented at esteemed conferences like Black Hat USA, DEF CON, and many more. Get ready to learn from his wealth and of experience and insight. So that's all about the speaker. And uh, dear participants, as promised, we are excited to share that you will receive your attendance certificate within next 48 hours, along with the video recording of this webinar. So thank you for being part of this engaging session. We'll look forward for your continuous participation. And uh, without and so without further ado, I would like Manish sir to take over and uh, let's get started. So uh, thank you. Everyone. I hope yeah, you will enjoy. You. Yeah. Okay, great, great. So let's just start, uh, you know, our uh, kickstart journey of cloud security. So basically, we all know that uh, cloud security now these days is, you know, most of the Fortune 500 organization as well as the startup or medium sized companies adapting the cloud very much. So they are moving their traditional on premises, uh, you know, resources, applications, workload to the cloud side. And it's not just a single cloud providers. There are multiple cloud providers. We mostly focus on three major cloud providers like AWS, uh, Azure and GCP. These are the major cloud providers that most of the organization are using. Apart from these cloud providers, there are other, uh, you know, providers as well. But what happens if you perform a red team operation, operation or pen testing against these cloud providers? So suppose if you, if you are a consultant working in a consultant agencies and for your client, if you want to perform these operations or for your organizations, if they are adapting or they have a, a workload or application in different uh, cloud providers, how actually you can perform pen testing and red team operation? what are the things you should require so suppose if you are a very beginner this session is for a beginner's audience like if they want to get a start their cloud red team journey or cloud security or cloud pen testing journey how what are the things they should know and how they can you know start their uh, journey with cloud security so as this as we already mentioned so in this session is just like a basic uh, you know give the brief about what are the things you should require to start your cloud red team journey the first one is multi-cloud architecture what is means means that now these days organization is not only using a single cloud providers to host or to deploy their applications they are using a multiple service provider or we can say cloud providers 
this can be for backup purpose this can be for you know distribute the workload or this can be any other purpose right like they can use a kubernetes service for gcp because gcp is developed the kubernetes they can use you know a windows virtual machine for azure because windows is belongs to azure so there, there will be multiple scenario and based on that they can choose where they want to host what kind of resources based on price as well like uh, what are the pricing model different uh, vendors have a different pricing model now when uh, organizations are using multi-cloud environment how this architecture is different from a traditional on-premises or single cloud providers this is the first thing we have to understand so i'll just give a quick uh, overview how it should look like so you can see it here i'm just open my screen so you can see there now these days most of the organization are using sso sso is, is basically single sign on so you can use a single you know so there will be one application where you locked in there with your single credential and you can access multiple application from there so suppose no need to remember a multiple credentials that belongs to aws azure gcp your hr applications or your internal application in that case what we can do you can use a single sign on portal where you can log in and from there you can access multiple application what is the important here is if you if you compromise or if you have an access of single credentials you can access multiple applications that is assigned to that user so this is why multi cloud architecture is really important where the organization using uh, you know their uh, main or primary identity source where they are using a sso so all this information we should know before we, we start doing any red team operation or pen testing operation there so most of the organizations they can use okta one login uh, federation identity active directory federation service multiple things they can use it so first thing you have to identify it so in our case suppose we have an um, working in organizations and my organizations they are using a your ad as a primary as a sso identity so now if you want to access aws azure gcp or any other saas service you first have to log in there so in this case suppose if i'm going to log in my apps to microsoft.com which is a sso portal for uh, azure ad now suppose i specify my email address this is an email address that belongs to me if i specify it because it is asking me to enter my credentials like password and if i am successfully able to log in so this is a sso portal from where you can access multiple application that is assigned to you so you can see you can access uh, azure you can access aws you can access google without entering multi credential multiple time or without remembering the multiple credentials here so suppose if you want to access google cloud you just enter type this username without entering the credentials details you are successfully able to log into this google cloud so this is what uh, this is why to understand the multi cloud architecture is really important so now you can see i have a access on one cloud providers but i from there i can access the multiple services there so this is important to understand you can see if you click on aws okay so you can see in aws you can have access on multiple accounts and from there you can access the uh, service or role which is assigned to you or that you want to access it so this is why it's important to understand the architecture of multi cloud so first if you want to start a red team journey or cloud pen testing journey try to understand how this uh, sso work it can be based on saml or it can be based on open id connect so this is the first thing you have to do some research to understand how this scenario work and how as a red teamer or pen tester or pen tester you can you know misuse or you can abuse these functionality second thing is multi account architectures multi cloud means your organization is using multiple services of multiple cloud providers so they can connect all these together and you can access with the single credential multi accounts come into pictures where uh, suppose you are using aws aws also provide a way to have a multiple accounts so here so here if you want to see it here if you go for aws you can see this user employee 01 this user have access on two different account so this is why it's really important to understand how multi account work in a single cloud providers same like if you talking about gcp gcp have a multiple projects so suppose if you click here 
you can see this is my organization and I have access on these two projects. Same, it's applicable for Azure as well. In Azure, you can see you can have access on either multiple tenant or multi subscription. So this is why the second thing that come into picture is and uh, to understand is multi account or multi tenancy architecture. When we're talking about single cloud providers, so suppose first we discuss about multi cloud providers when you have multiple AWS Azure and GCP, then we are talking about if you're talking about AWS Azure or GCP any single cloud provider, how this multi account architecture work, how it's, you know, associated with a single account because what happens suppose if you compromise this user this user i have access on two different projects one project is belongs to development team and another project can be belongs to a production team or can be an engineering team so this is why you should understand that what are the difference between multi account access and how we can access multiple account that can be important when we are performing lateral movement, suppose we compromise one project and if you want to move to another project, what are the different way we can, you know, move to the different projects. So these, these are the scenario will help you. Now, third one is cloud services. So when we so there are hundreds of services provided by each and every cloud providers. But in, in our case, we won't discuss about hundreds of things. We mostly discuss about four major services which is provided by any of the cloud provider. The first one is identity and access management. IAM is really, really important. Most of the misconfigurations happen because of IAM. Because of you haven't specified the right permission, maybe you specify some excessive or some, you know, uh, extra permissions to a user, to a role, to a groups. And because of that, there is a misconfiguration happen. Most of the cases. So IAM, any cloud provider, I am in the one of the most common services that you have to check first. So suppose if you're doing a, a cloud security or pen testing assessment or red teaming assessment, you first check what privilege the user, current user or current role you have and how many, you know, different role assignment they are in that particular cloud environment. There are a lot of automated as well as manual tools available. Uh, so you can use those tools to access this thing. Right. The first one is IAM we already discussed. Now, second one is compute. Compute means this like any cloud providers. Compute means like if you want to perform any performance uh, things or if you want to run 24 by 7. So there are multiple type of compute there. Like AWS will be talking about we have EC2 instance similar like virtual machines we have when we and we can have a like a container service which is also comes in the compute we can have lambda function which is a serverless uh, you know compute service so there are multiple services which is belongs to compute so second service that we are going we will you know we should uh, know about a particular cloud provider is compute third one is we can say uh, our storage so there are multiple kind of storage. It can be a database. It can be our bucket, like object storage, or it can be a you know table format. So, so each and every cloud cloud providers maybe they do have a different naming convention, but the storage will be the same. Like we can have a object storage, we can have a file storage, uh, we can have a, a, a database storage, and these kind of storage they are there. So we have to first check what kind of stories this particular cloud providers provide and what are the different misconfiguration can be possible and how uh, from the threat, uh, threat attacker point of view, we can compromise that one. So we discuss about uh, IAM, compute, stories, and the last one that it's you know going to be discussed about security services. Because from the security point of view, different cloud providers provide different different security services first comes into logging like aws provide a, a cloud trail azure provides like act, uh, activity log similar like gcp provide audit logs so this monitoring service or the security services is really important because from there if something is happened in your organization you can go back and check the logs to see what kind of incident is happened from the attacker or uh, red team point of view, you should know that if you are doing these kind of operation, what kind of log will be generated there. So this is why these four common services you should know before you start your cloud red, cloud security red team journey. The first one is IAM, second one is compute, third one is storage, and fourth one is security service. Okay. 
Now, fourth point when it comes to uh, start your uh, kickstart your uh, cloud uh, security journey is the cloud CLI. Like you know that I can access directly cloud provider with the portal access, but there is one way uh, which is called a CLI access or programmatic access. From there, you can access the cloud provider similar like you are doing with the uh, portal. Like for AWS, we have AWS CLI. If you want to start the security services, you should install these three major CLI in your system. Like for AWS, there is a one CLI called AWS CLI, which will directly interact to the AWS API. You have to just specify the right set of credentials and in the backend, which will automatically call the correct API uh, or whatever API that you want to access it. There are a lot of documentation available here. So that will allow you to automate your things as well. Suppose you can make a script and you can do the same operation that you are going to do with the portal. For, when you're talking about Azure, there is a CLI called AZ CLI, which is a multi uh, operating system CLI. So you can install in any operating system, which will allow you to access the Azure services. Now, uh, when you're talking about uh, Google Cloud, there is a CLI called G Cloud. So these are these are the most common CLI. One second. I have to bring this. So there is a G Cloud CLI. There is some error is coming up. We have to update it. But this is the one G Cloud CLI that will allow you to access the Google Cloud services. So these are the three major or common CLI when you want to interact with, the, uh, with these cloud providers. So basically we should know because sometime what happen if you are if you are doing uh, any kind of operations like pen testing, red teaming, security assessment, not every time you have access on portal. So in that case, you have access on only on a programmatic or we can say CLI access. So you should know the command which is actually used to perform that specific operations. Suppose if you want to do any, if you want to change any role assignment, what kind of role, how we can specify what kind of CLI we can use it and what switches are there to use the, to manipulate the role assignment and all those things there. The last one is called Cloud Red Team Operating System. So we develop a operating system. The name is Red, Red, Red Cloud OS. So you can see this is the operating system that we develop. This operating system allow you to, so it's basically pre-configured all set of tools, all set of CLI, everything's there configured in this operating system that is developed by uh, our team members. And this will allow you to directly, uh, you know, import in your virtual machine and you can start perform your red team or uh, cloud security or pen testing operations there. So I suggest you to, instead of downloading multiple tools in your, uh, you know, host VM, you can directly import this virtual machines in your VMware or virtual box. And from there you can start performing or perform the pen testing operations there. It's very simple. You can see you have what kind of uh, credentials you required, where you can set the credential, all the CLIs and multiple tools are available there. We are keep updating this operating system with the latest tools. And uh, if there are any, you know, uh, new things is coming into picture, we are trying to add here. So I request you if, if you are a, if you want to start your red team journey, or if you are doing it for your organizations, try to download this operating system. And then you can start, you know, uh, performing your uh, operations there. There are already hundreds of tools we install there and we'll keep updating this one. So this is how, these are the five different points uh, that will allow you to start your, uh, uh, you know, red team or pen testing journey, journey, journey. And it will also give you the confidence against you know because you know once you get a idea about the fundamental of these cloud providers and what are the things you, you need to access it what kind of credentials you required what sort of cli you can access it what sort of any automated tools you required everything is there so these are the five things you require to start your red team journey before that you can perform it but if you get a better idea like if you get a good uh, you know uh, fundamental knowledge it will really help in your career as well the same purpose we also develop a uh, basically uh, so this is a one uh, training programs one course we released uh, 
three, uh, two, th three months back at least, and we have more than 20,000 of our customers uh, across, you know, 120 plus countries, and we charging very minimal. So this is a for beginner purpose. So we have some advanced course as well. So if you're looking for this multi-cloud red team analyst course, you can see it's basically 100% practical course. We mostly focus on, you know, different uh, services, how we can exploit it, how Threat Actor can exploit it and how you can perform it. You can get each and everything here in this single course. Like an idea about multi-cloud, AWS, Azure and GCP, how you you can exploit the service, how you can perform the enumeration, how we can use the CLI, everything is club in this course here. And you can directly use our uh, Red Team Cloud OS to start your this one. We also provide the lab as well. So it's not like theoretical only, it's just like we provide 30 plus challenges. So from starting from OSINT to, uh, you know, perform data exfiltrations, credential access, privilege escalation, all these things you have to perform it to achieve your goal, like exfiltrate some data and do much more things are there. It's fully gamified environment, scenario based environment, and you can get the idea. So even certification process is very simple. You enroll in this course, you will get a PDF, you will get a videos where you will get ideas and then you have a lab access. You can, it's like unlimited time. You can attempt it with this uh, challenge. A challenge is basically a practical scenario based lab. Once you complete these challenges, you will get a, this certificate. So currently we are providing 90% off. It's, it's like very minimal fee we are charging it for this course. So if you are interested or if you want to learn a cloud security journey, definitely I recommended you to take a look. If you found it's useful, definitely you can go for and subscribe for this one. So I think this is the all that we can discuss today. But if you have any question, any query, we have a five more minutes. If anybody have any questions, query around our courses, uh, around you know, any tra training programs that we have, just let me know. So you can directly uh, share your query questions if you have. Regarding MCIT certification or uh, regarding uh, you know the curriculum that we have, apart from this one, if you want to go for a perfect training path, like if you already have a beginner knowledge and want to check for advance, you can go through it. Like initially we suggest or we recommended you to go through the MCIT course. Then uh, you can go for CHMRTS, which is the intermediate uh, courses for multi-cloud red teaming. Then you can go for a specific cloud providers based on your interest and based on your experience. So I'll wait for one, two more minutes. If you have any questions, any queries, feel free to ask. Yeah, please. So there is one chat box. I think you can directly ask your questions there. The chat box is there. If you have any query questions, feel free to ask there. So this is basically, you know, uh, so suppose one query we ask. So in this MCIT course, you can see if you go in for this particular course, it comes under cloud security, multi-cloud red team analyst. This is the lab highlights. We provide 30 plus different, different challenges for AWS, Azure and GCP, mostly 10, 10 challenges for each cloud providers. And this will cover entire cyber kill chain, starting from OSINT to data exfiltrations. So you should know how you can perform the OSINT. So most of the things we cover in our videos. So if you go through the videos, it won't take much time you to understand it. But from the practical point of view, we'll this, uh, have this one. Another thing is we have a, our dedicated channel, uh, Cyber Warfare Labs in Discord. So if you have any query questions, you can directly ask us. Like if you have a question or if you stuck somewhere, you can directly ask any query or question there. Okay, so yeah, you can directly join the Discord channel even if you want to see what kind of uh, uh, reviews are there regarding this particular course or uh, what are the different trainings program that we offer it. Okay, so this is all about 
uh, this uh, webinar we discuss about lot of different scenarios like what are the things you should require to kick start your journey okay uh, okay thank you so much for joining this session if you have any query questions you can directly uh, uh, reach out to us over the mail thank you